this is a peaceful, serene place, and these people come from Los Angeles County and invade. There was a loud banging on the back gate. And I said, what's going on? He goes, we have a warrant to search the premises. And then they drew their guns. I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. One of my worst days, one of my family's worst days. Had this armed raid uncovered a weapons stockpile? Foiled a terrorist plot? No. What government agents were after was this. Raw milk. A danger to society. Or so the Food and Drug Administration tells us. The FDA warns raw milk can cause vomiting, diarrhea, and worse. But not everyone is so worried about these risks. All raw meat, raw cheese, greens, eggs, uh, honey, milk. It's pure and healthy and um, makes me feel good. This is Rawsome Foods, a private membership club in Venice, California. Before entering, members sign a waiver stating that they actually want food that has not been heated or pasteurized. In fact, that's the whole point, explains the club's manager, James Stewart. It's how nature provides the food without uh, man becoming involved in uh, pasteurization, homogenization, uh, processing of any kind. The class of foods most scrutinized, it seems to us, is anything having to do with raw dairy raw milk, whether it's cow or goat. In the past three years, there have been at least eight government raids across the U.S. involving raw dairy, according to the Farm to Consumer Legal Defense Fund. In this security camera footage, we see agents entering Rossum's kitchen, guns drawn. Jarrell Winterhawk, a manager, has worked at Rossum for four years and was there the morning of the raid. We heard a buy-in on the back door. Uh, one of my workers, helpers, he went out there and says, hey, there's a cops out here. The police presented a warrant, so Jarrell let them in. They made me get out of the kitchen and I had to go sit over there on a chair and they searched me. They started walking around, they drew their guns and I'm like, why, why are you drawing guns? I didn't know what was going on. I mean, it seemed like they thought we had cocaine in the papayas or something. Guns drawn is, is way beyond and above the call of duty. The raid on Rossum involved no less than five government agencies. The FDA, the Los Angeles Health Department, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office, and the California Department of Food and Agriculture. All five of these agencies declined interviews for this story, saying the investigation was ongoing. The agents proceeded to collect what they called samples for the case. They took 24 jars of the same kind of honey. For what purpose? If you're taking a sample of something, you need one jar of that honey, not 24. They just went into our freezer and they just took gallons and cheeses and whatever they wanted. They deliberately left this door open and the curtains open so it would spoil the food. And they knew this. By the end of the day, they kept it open for so long that a lot of stuff had gone hot and they couldn't sell it. Thousands and thousands of dollars worth of food. They don't want to see this happen. They want to stop this from happening. They're going to shut us down whenever they can in whatever way they can. The agents were collecting samples of goods supplied to Rossum by this Santa Paula farm. And this Santa Paula operation is where the story really begins. Sharon Palmer and her three children run Healthy Family Farms, which has long been under the scrutiny of various agencies for its sale of raw goat milk. Rossum had a real desperate need for raw goat milk. And we progressed in building our own dairy and raising our own goats. Because of Palmer's work with raw goat milk, the farm was raided and she was arrested. My children stood by and watched me in handcuffs. Um, people that I had volunteers here just stood back in just horror. They, they took me down to the county jail, it, it booked me, photographed me like a criminal. Palmer spent the night in the Ventura County Jail and was never charged. That happened in 2008. She was raided again in 2009 and again in 2010. That raid was coordinated with the raid 70 miles away at Rossum Foods in Venice. My kids were getting dressed, everybody was getting ready for school, knock on the door, they proceeded to come on into the house, get everybody out of bed, in their pajamas, um, tell us that they're searching and raiding the farm. Ripped my house apart, all of our records, volunteers on the farm, neighbors picking tomatoes, <laughs> chased off. This is a peaceful, serene place, and these people come from Los Angeles County and invade. You had over 50 state and county employees 
raiding this farm and Rossum at the same time. To look at the money that these taxpayers are paying for Los Angeles County District Attorney, Los Angeles County Police, the Sheriff's Department, you tell me how much we paid for that. It was only after this last raid that the Sheriff's Department got around to charging her. The offense? Improperly labeling her cheese products a misdemeanor, but still enough to suspend her dairy license. Are raw foods better for you than pasteurized ones? The science is out on that question. But here's another question. Should we be allowed to decide what we put into our own bodies? The hell? This is America. How are you going to tell me what I should and shouldn't eat? We are a private membership club and people who are here want to be a part of this club. This is about people putting food into their bodies. And when it gets down to the point of people not being able to make a choice what they want to put into their own bodies, uh, people are going to stand up and say, I don't think so. We should have the right to choose if we want to eat raw salmon, sushi, or cooked hamburgers. We should have the right to be able to go to McDonald's or go to Rossum. For now, no charges have yet resulted from the raid on Rossum. But yet another agency, Los Angeles Building and Safety, is threatening to shut them down, this time for illegal structures on the property. Sharon Palmer plans to fight the misdemeanor charge stemming from her cheese's label. She's raising baby goats in the hopes that she'll one day be allowed to sell her dairy. For Reason TV, I'm Zach Weissmuller.